Hello friends, today I am with uh, Dr. Charulata Mani, uh, who is currently residing in Australia. She happened to uh, visit San Jose and I thought I will uh, you know, get, get to chat with her a little bit about her musical journey and uh, know her a little bit more and see what are her uh, plans for the music going forward. Uh, she is known for uh, music from a long, long time. I would say I have been listening to her music in Isai Painam and other concerts, maybe for 10 years, maybe. And uh, I've learned a lot of music by just listening to Isai Painam. And that's how I started my musical journey. And then she's done a lot of playback uh, singing for various movies. And uh, she's also done a PhD in music, which is very rare, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, like I can learn music, but to do a PhD, it really requires an extra level of uh, dedication and uh, effort and interest i think that separates you from the rest of them Thank so you. very happy that you asked me to come and talk to you excellent and i never happy. expected that namaste, to happen namaste. yeah namaste. like in youtube i just posted a message and yes. said hey are you i, I heard you are in san jose i said like i wanted to meet you and you said uh, why don't you come over and chat and mm -hmm. thank you for doing that wonderful to meet you namaste and so good to see the audience as well um, so it's it's a nice morning here it's in very california beautiful today, yes great weather right. and um, so, uh, like Satish said, um, I'm here for some concerts, some, some Isepainam concerts in the US, but also to do um, a, a, re a research keynote at the Carnegie Hall in New York, which is really exciting. Um, but this morning, we just thought we'll chat with you all. Nice. And uh, just uh, talk a bit more about music, which sustains life. Right. And, right. and our living and our... Uh, and, and our well-being. So right. very happy to be here, right. Satish. Yes. Thank you so much. And uh, what is your plan for the next few days? I, I heard you're doing a yeah. lot of interesting things. So it's really interesting. On Friday, there was a workshop in Bay Area, which was uh, an Issei Painam style workshop. So the first half, I introduced three ragas, um, the key prayogas, uh, the key swaras, and some of the gamakas. And the second half, uh, the participants of the workshop, they were in groups of three and they came up with their own phrasing and melodies and mm -hmm. songs nice. with those prayogas. Mm -hmm. So um, they all became songwriters and vage karas right. and they all sort of had that, tried their hand at creativity. Nice. So that's, that happened on Friday, mm -hmm. um, May to, um, 26th. And after that, this weekend, just sort of resetting. Mm -hmm. And uh, tonight I'm leaving to New York um, and... So then the Carnegie Hall annual convention, the Lullaby Convention is happening and I'm invited as one of the keynote speakers to talk about the research on lullabies mm -hmm. and how that promotes uh, the mental health and well-being, the perinatal mental health and well-being, particularly in women from marginalized communities. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, sort of my uh, capstone research project, uh, which I'm doing in the university in Australia where I am. So it's a funded project that I am chief investigator. So it's very exciting to talk about that. And I'll be talking about lullabies, which is very close to my heart. Tala to Padalgal. Very nice. Um, and after that, I've got some concerts, Isai Painam concerts, uh, fundraisers um, in, in Washington, uh, D.C. There are two mm -hmm. concerts. So June 4th is very special. It's for the um, Hindu Association of Community Services. We are fundraising for uh, feeding the homeless mm -hmm. uh, in the D.C. area. So the Isai Painam concert is happening at the SV Temple, Sri Venkatesh, uh, Siva Vishnu Temple uh, in Lanham. Mm -hmm. So that's happening on Excellent. June 4th. Awesome. And then there's another on June 9th, mm -hmm. SV Lotus Temple. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's also a fundraiser, Isai mm -hmm. Painam style. Um, and then there's one in New York, you know, so it's very, it's an exciting tour. Right. Um, busy. Busy tour but also very fulfilling because you know we're doing it for fundraising mm -hmm. um, it's for charity everything is is going for charity so it's really exciting super. for me super other than that's why i'm here <laughs> very nice so i'm really interested in the lullaby like uh, is it the traditional indian style lullaby or is it a mix of some western plus indian or can you give me an example of what that lullaby is yes so um so this kind of project that I did, uh, sing to connect in a pair. Mm. So Advanda, it involved the lullabies from the culture of the women who were involved in that context. So it's a perinatal um, clinical space where the midwives 
and the uh, sort of the the OBGYN and all of those mm-hmm. consultants are together and the women are helped in those perinatal settings. Mm-hmm. Uh, they come for consultation. Mm-hmm. But these women are from refugee and migrant backgrounds. I see. So very often it becomes what a challenge in Anna to connect with the their midwives or their or the clinician, mm. the, 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 the barrier of culture and language and all of those things become barriers. Mm. But in reality, those are our strengths. Right. Right. So the lullaby becomes a way to soften that. It becomes a way to create that connection mm-hmm. uh, to our own motherland, to our own identity, mm-hmm. but also for the, uh, for the uh, sort of health uh, professionals to... Of the mother. And, yes. Yeah. But for the health professionals to connect with us as in a human context. Right. So exactly. an example of that is, you know, uh, Tamil, la, there's so many lullabies, but right. um, uh, this one is beautiful. Kanneyen kanmaniye Kannane kanvalarai Kanneyen kanmaniye Kannane kanvalarai Kanneyen kanmaniye Kannane kanvalarai Paparasam Shivans Beautiful Lullaby Yeah uh, Lullaby la Neelambari Ragam mm-hmm. Is um, so important Tarari Kanule Kanule Very sweet. Soothing. So uh, very soothing. Very soothing. Um, yeah. Our ragas, our Carnatic ragas, a lot of them are inherently, you know, very so soothing and devotional and uh, good for your heart. I think that's it. Yeah. So Ada Vandu Kunjo tap in Panna. Mm. In every culture, there are those heartwarming Sounds things and uh, the famous things that they do for that the babies. Do. That's and, uh, it. Yeah. Makes yeah. sense. So you have also done uh, some um, research into other lullabies, uh, yes. Western or uh, African and all that. Ama. So th- each of the mothers would bring their own songs and share it with us. So then it becomes a journey where you learn about yes. other cultures. You connect with other women mm-hmm. and you connect on a musical level. Super. So and the or, uh, or knowledge of I'm sharing in New York as well Very nice. in the convention. But uh, it's it's music at the end of the day. Right. Um, that really moves right, us right. Like, definitely so. definitely like this one is very close because you have children and yes. to put them to sleep you need to do this yes and yes each of us do it in our own way we just say ra 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 something ah, and then, right? Yeah, that's right so it's yeah. very nice and thali ala orku ara ara orku ama thala atta padugal even in folklore right. you've got folk songs that are yeah. so in yeah. I'm f- in fact i've done a full album of that um, nice. some years ago in in, in chennai mm-hmm. mani bharati is a composer mm-hmm. uh-huh. so avaru we came up with an album collaborations of, of a release of lullabies and nice. um, in fact some of them were original songs uh-huh. in that album uh-huh. but in the kanne and kanmani you were in the other mm-hmm. so very sweet and mari um, yeah before we get started like i wanted to learn about your journey like how it got started mm-hmm. like why did you like music so much in fact, I also researched that you are an engineer mm-hmm. who did not continue the engineering, but you chose the music line. Yeah. So I was curious, how did you take, is that a gamble or is that the right thing that you felt uh, that you did? Yeah, well, I I mean, academically, I was, you know, I enjoyed maths and physics I, mm-hmm. in that year 11 and 12 level. And then I joined, I mean, I was, I got the mechanical engineering opportunity to study it at uh, College of Engineering Gindi, the mm. prestigious, mm. you know, Anna yeah, University. Yeah, that's right. And that was such a great journey. So, right. you know, I finished my degree and, you know, I was one of the rank holders. Uh-huh. And e- I even had the job offer on the table mm-hmm. after that. But that was when, you know, that 
you get you hit the road where there is a fork in the road and then you Choose you the know direction. you know the intuition tells us mm-hmm. which way to go so adamari but even when i was doing my second year in college or even before that i had started performing kacheris mm-hmm. so inga i have to st- talk so you about my your, gurus uh, you started your journey maybe for 5 years 6 years when you were 6 7 years yeah, old yes so okay. my mother uh, shrimati hemalata mani uh-huh. um, wonderful veena artist mm-hmm. so amma vand she is a disciple of uh, veena chitti babu sir mm-hmm. adnala at home there's always music there's always a practice and the lovely opportunity to sit with my mother and listen to her play mm-hmm. ragam tanam and uh, particularly the tanam in the right. veena is special nice. so adala keti 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 valand it became a part of my sort of it yeah it's my yeah, my right. brain is part wired like, yes. in that yeah. way it has Makes always sense. been wired in that uh-huh. way so when i sort of when i became around 6 to 7 years old amma took part kadandey irundhen but then i said amma i want to learn more i want mm-hmm. to learn spend more time more on time this, learn, on yeah. vocal mm-hmm. so then my lovely gurus came into my life uh, sandhya vandanam shri shrinivas rao mm-hmm. and shri purna pragya rao sir um, my revered gurus and after that kolkata ks krishnamurthy mama um, one mm-hmm. of the greatest vidwans and pedagogues mm-hmm. um, and upper way ks ke mama used to speak in a lot of symposiums mm-hmm. and voice symposium le pesuvar carnatic symposium le pesuvar theory pati pesuvar ragalakshanam pati pesuvar mm-hmm. little did i know then that i would also be a musicologist you know right. so but the way of teaching the the kritis i learned from him ella made now when i look back those mom those memories are precious mm-hmm. um and then i also had the wonderful opportunity to learn under uh, savitri satyamurthy aunty mm-hmm. so um, savitri satyamurthy is a wonderful disciple of the s ramanathan bani mm-hmm. so very very um, r- traditional pathantaram mm-hmm. and um, in fact sandhya vandana shrinivas rao belong to the tl venkatramayar bani so a lot of our dikshitar kirtanes we share with mm-hmm. the dkj and dk patamar I school see. so and the authenticity of sort of that traditional lineage and mm-hmm. the handing over of the knowledge enak romba special to me apdi da vandu enoda traditional carnatic upbringing apdi irundhathu so then by the time i was 14 or 15 i started performing in professionally in kacheri right. aramachaache right. right. my first performance was in shastri hall in las makes sense. Was those days they used to iconic. give an advertisement and all that right Amma. bring in all their relatives and all that Roman same thing Amma. even these days they do that yes the coming of the musician Amma. 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 so he occupied the stage for the first time i remember my father went and um, picked up the chief guest of the evening mm-hmm. uh, sri b rajamayar oh, okay. so enga appa poi car la avara arshan vandu avar vandu romba he became close to our family and so we share the same guru parampara mm-hmm. tl venkatramayar mm-hmm. so rajamayar sir the great vidwan he was the chief guest so avar vandu pesi um, anyway those were beautiful memories so the kapra when i was like going back to you know when i was doing my engineering and everything i was also performing professionally already, already i was already yes, performing right. professionally and i was beginning to get opportunities to tour and do kacheris outside of chennai mm-hmm, mm-hmm. bangalore hyderabad mm-hmm. even abroad and so at the kapra i was thinking seri why not just make Pursue this my this life as your music main, co- yeah. main, main course yes as right. the main course of action right. um so i mean the engineering i i, I would say it opened my brain mm-hmm. to analytical thinking thinking to critical sort of ways in which we can engage with data mm-hmm. or makes sense yeah mm-hmm. you know and and that has helped me later on now when i did my phd right. in post doctoral right. research fellowship and yeah. you know really yeah, we should not think of music as separate from science yes music is science right it has math in many ways it has the sounds it has frequency i mean it's yes. very connected with the physics connected it, with right like even the creation of these instruments Hmm. is like a engineering work correct correct right <laughs> the, how to take this wood and put put them together put the strings get this uh, thing it's engineering so i think engineering and right. music they are co- connected in many ways and we think you so right yeah. i mean and also what used to really excite me in physics laboratory is we used to do the resonance experiments tuning, uh, tuning ah, the, so and the we used to keep that paper and say and the resonance enga varudho and the paper will just fall off yeah yeah 
because the you know then the the string is vibrating right along with the natural frequency of the wood right. and things right. like that right that used to really excite me and tambura tune pannum bodhu and the jeeva earlier which the tune pannum bodhu i'll be looking at all i'll be thinking of all those right. those physical phenomena right. and and the way in which sound and as you rightly said yeah. those things are so intrinsically connected right. Right. not that we consciously connected all the time because mm-hmm. that's not the point of it right. an art is aesthetic right. right so we do it for right so it's like you yeah. have the engineering which creates these instruments we have the music which is more emotional and yeah. more to the mind that yeah. you play but you're not thinking of the engineering aspect when you're playing no. the music you're just playing it right which you don't know how it was created or you don't know those things no. but now that you already did your engineering and you also know music <laughs> you get more in depth Uh, yes knowledge about how things work and yes. how the music and the uh, thing is formed right the, the coexistence right. and also the voice in the mode you can't even see it right the voice right. is called the gatra veena right so on the ada paaka mudiyadu right right ada unarada mudiyum right uh, you can feel it right so um swanubhava is so important in mm-hmm. our carnatic you know style of music style of music so yeah. so how, how much time you used to practice like was it like when you were like 6 years old they put you to a guru and every day mm. you used to sing for an hour or what was the way you uh, progressed it was a constant like uh, i know a lot of vidwans talk about this but practice when the you do it you know physically okand practice mm-hmm. we do it definitely for at least couple of hours in a day mm-hmm. but mm. okand pannata kuda when we are going about our daily activities mm-hmm. the singing keeps going on the brain keeps m- making music right. so right. i remember i used to sit in a school van uh. to go to school appo vandu the van satathile it would drown out other people wouldn't be able I to see. hear but you but you could still but i it. would just sing yes and nobody would be able to really right. hear me so i wouldn't draw attention right. so i was right. a Practicing you know 9 year old 10 right. year old just those one and a half hours sometimes at uh, at babas ride right. to school right. i should just keep singing right adey mari the brain sort of keeps making those mm-hmm. connections and so um it's a constant uh, constant effort process that right. but okand paradunga the definite discipline i i used to sing every mm-hmm. day the classes also used to not just go for one hour but sometimes two hours two and a half hours or competition ekla prepare pannona and the repertoire edithu onnunume okand deep a adukulla poi especially a yeah. lot of time yeah. and ragam thanam pallavi and all that the structuring of it the laya the kanak the mathematics mm-hmm. inside requires time right it's right. not like and those things we need to actually sit and think it through mm-hmm. You know? right the thala thoda and the old notes podano and the mm, mari mm. right and the structure pani adu eppadi attractive a pandrathu how to make it you know how to create a package where there is a proper balance of melody and laya makes sense mm-hmm. where one does not you know overshadow the other mm-hmm. and one of the greatest examples of that is the way in which lalgudi jayaraman sir mm-hmm. um avaroda music na vandu bayangaram ke constant like mm-hmm. is really and my husband as well both of us love lalgudi mm-hmm. sir our own new music so nanga aathla potunde irpom appo when we keep listening to lalgudi jayaraman sir one thing i've noticed is the beautiful way in which the laya mm-hmm. and those patterns are structured in the kalpana swaram mm-hmm. and also you can see those patterns meaningfully structured in the uh, alapana right sankathili irukum adu it's not retrofitted it's right. not something that is just come from tradition right. but it's something that's thought has been put into it right, right. so adu oru periya inspiration enakku so na ipo edu pannalum even isai payanam is carefully curated i see it's I not see. just hotchpotch is not things thrown in together I so i, I know see. that you're going to ask about isai payanam right. so that's, that's your segue the, there yeah, it's there into the <laughs> next uh, yeah. couple of questions uh, that's pretty interesting about how you learned the the intricate patterns by listening to uh, the great musicians i think I, i've also realized like listening is a very important part of learning if i did not learn anything and if i just kept on listening i would have already learned a lot is what i realized uh, later on yes so people think just go sit and practice no you need to listen also right kandipa right and also listen to the right sort of right um and then the nerathil and then the correct ah namakku or you need to turn to the right people and we need to know, appreciate why that pattern or why did he create that or how does that relate to the the the, 
the point that he's making there right correct right. so and the relevance in the children uh-huh. it's very important right. because or ragam kattukumbodhu for instance you're learning valaji hmm. i'll give you an example um <coughs> ஒரு ஒரு <laughs> <laughs> மாத்தது அப்படிங்கறது அப்படி பண்ணல வரணும் <laughs> அதுவும் அந்த தாகா கரஸ்பாண்டன்ஸும் எடுத்து காமிக்கிறார் ஸோ சம்திங் லைக் திஸ் இஸ் அ வெரி குட் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஆஃப் ஹவு அ குட் ராகா அலாப்பனா கேன் பி ஸ்ட்ரக்சர்ட் ஒரு குட் யூனோ ஸ்வரப்பிரஸ்தாரா கேன் பி மேட் இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் ஸோ அதெல்லாம் அதில் இருக்குங்கிற அதெல்லாம் நம்ம ப்ராக்டிஸ் பண்ணும்போதே அது நீங்கள் சொல்கிற மாதிரி இந்த ரெலவன்ஸை யோ யோசிச்சு யோசிச்சு பண்ணால் ஆஹா ஆஹான்னு இருக்கும் தெல் பி மோர் ஆஹா மோமெண்ட்ஸ் தேன் யூ கேன் எவர் இமேஜின் and you know compositions like this right right are a very beautiful example of right. how those moments can be right. embedded in our learning it makes sense yeah. like i i don't know what magic they had with the great people before us in yeah, western or indian yes, yes. they composed everything all we had to do is just learn it <laughs> and then maybe if you just finish learning everything you already have learned a lot that's true and and a lot of material definitely is already embedded correct in the mm. past mm. but that begs the question of what can we do what's new yeah it can't be static it has yes. to evolve it yeah. has to go into the next stage yeah it can't be just the same thing again and again right and that yes. is the i think the challenge for everyone yeah today yeah. like what is the rules or mm. how can we break the barrier break the rules and try mm. new things how can i blend with other things and that's i think we are all stuck in the uh, moment where we are saying that is it okay to do those things mm. or is it against the tradition or yeah. is it breaking the <coughs> efforts that the the people in the past put and you are making carnatic music weaker or uh, less significant so that's the chal- uh, question i always had definitely like, and that is always a question about evolution right mm. when a form grows it it also changes yeah and change is the most constant thing right so i think like um definitely we need to be careful mm-hmm. of an aesthetic importance has to be given makes sense illaya yeah. uh. so namba edha pudusa pannanum kadhukka pudusa panna koodadhu correct mm-hmm. namba pandradhu i mean there there has to be the there's always the question of even in tech yes innovation and entrepreneurship right they go hand in hand with quality yeah. and and usefulness for right. the community right so is it enough to say that it sounds really good to me Mm. whatever new thing you created mm. i'll enjoy it hearing so does that mean that it's a right next step or is it yeah uh, it sounds so bizarre it's neither this nor mm. that mm. i don't know what i'm listening this is nonsense mm. yeah yeah sometimes they should stop this yeah <laughs> i think i've seen both sometimes it feels like oh i tried something new it sounded good with mm. other guitar and all it sounded good but they tried this other thing it sounds gibberish yeah. 
but do, should that stop people from trying i i feel like people should try both yeah in in the west in the west um, at the moment you know following my phd and my mm. post doctoral re- research fellowship i have a full academic position mm-hmm. in the department of music at the university of tasmania mm-hmm. so what i do see is a lot of in the western sort of thinking mm. about music this experimentation is huge yes yes so the uh, recently i did a piece in kalyani with a group of um, musicians mm-hmm. um, who are exceptional western artists mm-hmm. but for them ragam is new yeah so kalyani ragam i sat with them and worked through 12 weeks of experimentation with mm-hmm. it and we came up with a piece mm-hmm. and that you know the musical ensemble was called the experimental mu- music ensemble for, and mm. for a reason mm. because they're doing things that are new mm. they're trying things that so an experiment could always fail mm-hmm. but yes. what what is failure and we need to yes. define it failure is the you stepping know? stone for success yeah, right? yeah. so that so, is so yeah and given. but also what what is failure who gets to determine what failure is Correct. who are these people who are having these parameters in place and whether those parameters and people are coming from a place of privilege or they are coming from a place of right. tradition or right. convention or some sort of what is the thinking behind right. this sort of right. uh, uh, those rules mm-hmm. so adella path yeah ellame ellathiyume konjam padam paathu pirichu paathu dhan yosichu dhan pannu right right illaya yeah. yeah. but 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 coming back to your question i think that people should be having the space to experiment right right but that experimentation should be done with you know so, sort of good com- collaborators right nalla sangeetha foundation oda da edume pananum i am correct, a right. believer yeah, of yeah i think like what you that. said hits on the <laughs> head on the nail right basically the basics the shruti uh, pitch everything has to be correct Adhi. then you can try things yes. but if it sounds like braying yeah. or if it sounds very <laughs> yeah. bad for your ear yeah that is definitely do yeah. but if you created something that is really nice to hear yeah. then i think it's okay to go in that direction that's right and also there is that the end user experience yeah. has to be an aesthetic one yeah a positive one makes sense adhikana number we cannot compromise on our for foundations correct so either romba mukhyama the foundations when they are strong mm. typically the end user experience ends up being ends up aesthetic right. let's put like it that basically way. if you yeah. have a formula science formula yeah. if yeah. the formula is strong you can build anything on top of it and nothing will break it. so it's, it's the same thing here let me right. give you an example i love to give culinary examples mm-hmm. so when people are coming to visit us in our home yeah it's you know having a vetta korumbu right. and a good appalam yeah. and a good katrika curry right. is always a winner yes you cannot really go wrong yeah yeah, yeah. other couple you can always have an experimental yeah, thing exactly, yeah exactly yeah you know you make a kofta it may go well or not right, right. um but at least or safe or rasam curry korumbu or sadam irundutta we are always happy yep okay right. basics and then you can Adhida. add more as Adhida. bonus but the basics right. are strong basics they yeah. are not the basics are rich i mean vatta korumbu can be the richest form of nourishment right when right. you have it you know right. with the right sort of yeah. combination i share the love of the kurma with you it's like entire family is a fan a lot of, of the audience will as well yeah. understand that right. so My that is my favorite is vatta kurma so adha. can't beat that so that is our carnatic right. music is like amma pora maavadu mari adu right so maavadu thair sadam mari that that's not just thair right, sadam right, it right, is right. it has got stories it's got culture it is a part of our existence right. it's a part of our nourishment that is the carnatic music as you say this i am reminded <laughs> of the isai painam programs where yes. you actually go into that yeah you talk about the ragam yeah. and uh, you talk about rahman and the mari idu panni indha mari panni indha music pannaru yeah. that kind of uh, i go back to that after yeah. you said this statement yes yes definitely yeah. isai painam is been one of the most transformative things so i know that you have a question yeah, on that yeah, so yeah, i yeah. leave you to right yeah yeah so the next question for me is like you know how does one progress like uh, just in a sh- sh- few short sentences you don't have to elaborate too much yeah just like starting you do the sarali varsha you do the geetam yeah. then the alankaram then different talams mm. varnams yes and i think after that point is where the journey becomes dark for me at least oh dear <laughs> because it's like oh, i learned the varnam i learned the pancharata kritis i can practice 100 times i can keep on doing Correct. that Correct. but how do i go to the next level do i really need a teacher who can take me there or is there something else i can do uh, yes definitely i would say the power of a guru cannot be underestimated mm-hmm. so 
definitely reach out to a good guru and continue your learning journey mm-hmm. because they will put you in the right direction mm-hmm. and path but also is important is the mano dharma sangeetam mm-hmm. that is the foundation of carnatic music mm-hmm. so when you're saying that you learned you know typically not just you yeah. any sort of student of music at any age when they've learned their varnams or geetam kathindrukom and ellame raga adipadaila da irukku correct so ipo onnu la jalajakshi varnam in you know uh, uh, kalyani or i mean sorry the vanajakshi varnam in kalyani ah. but jalajaksha in right. hum, hamsadhvani uh-huh. things like that they are full of prayogas yes. of the ragam mm-hmm. so my advice to students would be once you reach that level where you've done your varnams mm. um you're looking for more and you're thinking of krutis you know some krutis mm-hmm. go back to the krutis and the varnam and isolate the prayogas look mm-hmm. at the prayogas enjoy every single thing mm-hmm. and build on that i'll give you an example sure because what is more apt than music to illustrate music with examples music right. yes <clears throat> analogies and examples that's it are the only way to learn i think that's it <laughs> So let's do Jalajaksha just think about that Hmm Jalajaksha ni ne da pani sari Ivlo irukku liya it's a fundamental thing yeah from this if we just look at these phrases in isolation gari sani sari gari sani sari sani pa sari sani pa distill it down ni sari gari sani pa adha da tadarana nana ra tadarinam elaborate on that mm. sit with that sit with for that, a while the phrase and just mm. dwell in it nama just keep practicing around that and you just know just be relax in it, in it. so uh-huh. go for quality over quantity oru varnathla oru pallavi therinja adha vechi enna pannala nu paarunga got it adha vechi eppadi raagatha from the composer's point of view like avar ye indha mari phrase potaaru what was yeah. his rational or what could have been that or where are we going from here so for instance you do that re- mm-hmm. the region gari sa ni sari gari ri sa ni sari sa sa ni pa ni sari pa ni sari beautiful pa ni sari gari sa ni sari pa ni sari ga pa after that where is it going ga pa ga ni beautiful place so yeah. take a pause there Yeah, stop yeah. and smell the roses right right da da ra ra right da da ra ra no ga pa ga ni pa ga ri ga ni ri pa ga ga pa ga ni pa ri ga ri ni evlo vandurthu prayogam beautiful amma ga pa ga ri ri ga ri ri ni pa ni ri ga pa ri ga ni ri pa ga ga pa sa ni ga ni pa ri ga ni Mhm. Yeah. I haven't gone there. anywhere or, you know I haven't done anything super adventurous yet. Right, right. I'm just working with what's there. Right. So start exploring more. Yes. Enjoy that phrases. Stop and smell right. the roses. Right. Makes Because ellame or beautiful adha panna pattirukku. Or even when you look at something like vaathaapi. Mhm. The sangathis and vaathaapi if we just enjoy each one of those we can mm-hmm. learn so much about hamsadhvani. Right. 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 Some people say, "Any vata api matun da theriyam eru dum theriyadu." Na sulle vata api theriyam karde oru periya samajaru. It's true. Vata api theriyam karde oru devi ka manu. Yes, yes. So, va. So we can go to the third or fourth sangadi. We are, you know, mm-hmm. in that janta prayoga phase. Va ta api gana par gaba gaga ri zari gari ri zani. Mm-hmm. forms the building block of yeah, kalpana yeah, swaras ga ba ga gari sari gari ri sani sa gari ri sani sari ga pa ri pa ga gari ri gari ri sani ba ni ri ga pa ga gari ri sani sari ga pa ri pa ga gari ri sani padinde pol that is from you know va ta pi gana patim va ta pi gana patim va ta pi gana patim va ta pi vaada bigana va vaada bigana 
போறதுக்கு <laughs> 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 we lo- we all stand on the shoulders of those who lived before us makes you know, sense that is the fundamental thing also of of research right. i cannot write a research paper without mm-hmm. proper citation right right if i'm going to say that i came up with this idea i'm going to have to you say have to go back to the composer that, and say this composer yeah, started like that these people did it or and even the ideas also. Ex- very that's important very true in, science. in yeah. any sort of right. research thing yeah. so as a performer as well i follow that mm mm-hmm. makes total sense so i am i'm here citing mm. ramaswami dikshit mm-hmm. i'm citing muthuswami dikshit i'm thinking avar abbi pannite so my brain la vandu it's a constant sort of yes 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 i yes. acknowledge that acknowledge mm-hmm. those mm-hmm. you know the sisters that right. walk before us right. the people that showed the way illa ms amma apdi paaduva adha right right or sudha akka sang it like this right. or oh i've heard jayashri sing it like right. this or nitesh yaka has sung it like this so all of those things those referential points right we keep bringing that in our minds those things will help us right build yeah our learning so going back to that question you know just turn to what's already right. there in fact that was my se- next question yeah. like how do you get into the raga yeah. how do you stay in it and yeah. is it mechanical or just your practice because your teacher taught you like this keep on practicing or Yeah. The one that you showed, right? How you yes. stay with the roses, smell the roses, right? That's it. So, so maybe like just stay is, with that phrase. Yeah. Feel it. Then you go to the next it. phrase. You need to allow it to right. hit it. Right. Um, allow the phrase to hit you and just stay with that feeling. Right. That will teach you a few things. But that is a thought for you, Mavi Sepainam. Right, right. Yeah, I, I, I yes. was going there also. Yes, right? yeah. so how did you Sepainam start? It began because of my, you know, love for ragas and mm-hmm. prayogas. Mm. But also... I I like to sit with that feeling mm-hmm. of having a raga and having the raga talk to me mm. you know having the connection because or or prayogathile avlo alag irukku so adu ukkande adu konjam alankaram panni paakkum illaya yeah yeah so adhu dhaan isai payanathoda idu vandu the fundamental thing of isai payanam is aesthetics and ragas right. yeah for me the first step is get the arohanam and avarohanam right yes. in the raga yeah and then ensure that you get it right yeah then maybe do an al- uh, alankara or do a sarali yeah. varshay or something like that on top of it yeah and then imbibe the raga that like you know this raga uh, is like this and i'm able to like sing it correctly yes and that's probably the starting point that is a starting point you know for a carnatic learner right but typically a starting point with someone who's not you know socialized to the idea of carnatic music as yet or mm. who may not have that sort of a traditional way of learning it is through recalling um well loved film songs that they already know yes yes right and you, you don't even realize all these things like if you didn't know carnatic music yeah you listen to all these music film songs you think like some magic is going on right. like how did they come up with this right yeah. but there's all there's a formula and they're just relying on the old composers old ragas and they're building on top of it that's it but in the formula you know there are so many differences you know now let me give you a few examples yeah. again Uh, so like you said and the what got me started on isai payanam what made me sort of look at this da is that love for ragas but also understanding where those connections happen between the carnatic you know f- songs mm-hmm. kritis and the film songs mm-hmm. and 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 that dialectic engagement that the mm-hmm. raga affords mm-hmm. in this space mm. so when you're looking at something like um kalyani mm. pamari gari neri gaga neri gama dama gari gama gari zani ri gama dama gari zani tar ran isai kettal puvi asaindadum adu irai vannarulagum the beautiful voice of tm sandaraj mm-hmm. தவப்புதல்வன் படத்துல தெதரம் 
So the ma mm-hmm. plays around a bit, right? Yeah. Sanidama Yenu Dan Vila Yadum Isayamuru. So beautiful, the Varja. Yeah, I was actually going to ask a question on that one only. Yeah, like yeah. basically like if I have to find all the music uh, movie songs for a Graga, I can do a Google. Yeah. I find. Yes. How did you uh, when you started I don't <laughs> think there was that much Google no. work, right? So yeah. How did you take all these movie songs, connect them to the ragas and then every week you used to have a program. Yes. Uh, right? How did you do that? So this happened in 2006. Yeah. It was just because of an interest and mm-hmm. sort of Self-driven. identifying that. Uh-huh. Um, but also my amma, you know, has a, she, she's a compendium of mm-hmm. film songs from the I past. See. Amma's uh-huh. knowledge has always right. been there. And my husband and, you know, his, his knowledge of, but also my sort of, curiosity or just interest just absolute just interest, yeah. madness i'm i'm driven by ragas i see so adu enga ponalo adu paapen you know if you're if you're seeing something if 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 a mathematician goes he they they see, see patterns the yeah, exactly. they see patterns yeah. everywhere when i listen to anything i see ragas i see it it, 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 it comes automatically when you, when you let's is. say you listen to a movie song you immediately map it to the raga it's as simple as it's that as, it's it's as simple or as complicated as <laughs> yeah for others it's complicated <laughs> it's simple for, for you for me right. so you know a, a raga a song like you're watching chichor on on, right. on film yeah. and then it's one of the best movies ever made yeah, yeah great yeah what are the songs and then what yeah. are the songs and then you suddenly hear yesudas uh, singing amma mm, jab deep jale ana jab sham dhale an nirigam pamari jane re so you can convert them in notes and then the raga follows right sang yes yeah. sang geet milan ka bhule na jana madani re sanita pa ma pya tadara so even things like oh the raga changes to mm-hmm. there's a bit of the sudhamadhimam there ah. or it changes from yaman to yaman kalyan uh-huh. so the knowledge of hindustani helps music also yeah. helps right right so like uh, that was one of my questions as well right like uh, for me if i listen to a movie song i wouldn't be able to find the raga like i i've tried dabbling on the keyboard and see what are the <laughs> keys to play yeah. maybe at that point i can figure out something yeah but otherwise like what are you listening in the music that kind of associates to is it because you practice raga so much already yeah, yeah. it's it's it, natural the, it's a like sort of a subconscious mapping that happens in my I brain right. between the swaragnyanam the sw- right. the swarasthanam the gamaka right. the ragam right. the prayogam adhe right. nanichund so oru paattu kekumbod aha inge iru that's right. it it just sort of it comes sits together yeah. i I've, um, i've been struggling with that yeah. because I, i haven't been able to like map from the reverse like you know take the oh, yeah. song and convert to notes that's yeah. always a challenge yeah but the conscious of under the order sometimes it would be good to just allow it to aha this sounds like something familiar right. and then oru oru phrase will come and sort of sit right. with you right. and the phrase which you can make sense is you know right makes it for me like yeah. uh, when i learned this uh, nalina kanti song uh, my my manava vyalak thing Ma- manava vyalak in chennai then i was yeah. able to uh, associate with kandukonde in that song yes. so it felt like oh, it sounds similar and that's where i started trying to map things and see yeah, uh, yeah. yes so i mean nalina kanti is always <clears throat> sagari magari jani pani sagari mag magari ma pani panisa panisa gari magari ni pa magari that is the yeah it's very beautiful of, yeah the signature right gari ni pa magari gani sagari maga sagari magari dani panisa gari magari dani yen so ile raja sir of course yen den ninjil ni gad yep ten famous song gana yep He say in sagari ma pani pa pani sagari ni sani pa sagari ma pani pa pani sagari ni sani pa magari sagari ma ga super magari ma pa 
Yeah, Such I was sitting and listening guy. to TM Krishna's uh, rendition of this. I yeah. think I've listened to it hundreds of times. You mean Manavyala Kinchana? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. done a great job, I thought, in that. Of course, yeah. yes, yes. I liked it a lot, so I used to listen to it a lot. Yeah, I, I think also the interpretive way in which we approach a yeah. Kriti yeah. is important. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think like... Uh, you kind of answered like five or six of my questions yeah, yeah. as you ca- explained it uh, happens through the journey, like that. right? And I'm like, okay, do I have to ask the next question? Its answer is coming anyway now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just we're in a flow now. <laughs> we are in a flow Satish. now. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. really interesting so far. Like we spoke about the ragas and all that. Yeah. And like now we like segue into the research part of it. Right? Like how did you like go into this research? Like what, what made you go in that direction? Yes, as an academia, I mean, in, in academia, um, I really don't know what possessed me to mm-hmm. to become an academic mm-hmm. and an artist but i think i sort of saw the unique space that you can occupy as a practitioner mm-hmm. you know as a carnatic kacheri practitioner as someone who's also a playback singer mm-hmm. but occupying the position of being an ethno musicologist special mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. we can add knowledge in mm-hmm. a way that has not been done before mm-hmm. so just adding to that knowledge in that space mm-hmm. uh, but from a practical angle and some something new and, and not, some, that's not something all, already there in a book or or some pre-existing uh, yes. knowledge form yeah so something that can also be made into a journal article or a book for later mm-hmm. i mean i've i've written quite a few influential journal articles for top journals in music mm-hmm. not just indian m- music but because my research looked at 17th century italian opera mm-hmm. i went and did field work in italy I I, I learned Italian. Oh, wow. um, I looked at ornamentation in that period and saw mm. a lot of similarities and congruencies mm-hmm. with Carnatic 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 the 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 godji mm-hmm. that they do with their voice mm-hmm. and it's like a janta mm-hmm. so if you looked at Cla- at, at the opera of claudio monteverdi mm. who was one of the first people who ever wrote an opera mm-hmm. um and looked at la orfeo or something um, like early 17th early, uh, yeah. century so the opera la orfeo came out in se- in, in 1607 mm. it it was premiered in a sit- in in a little town called mantova mm-hmm. and um and so it's i so as part of the field work i went to the the town of mantova and mm-hmm. looked at the ducal palace where the mm-hmm. premiere happened and looked at the way in which the chamber was structured uh-huh. because they didn't have obviously no they did not have vocal yeah. amplification Nothing at the time yeah. we did not have vocal amplification yeah. in yeah. our yeah. old uh, carnatic right. practice yeah. so just looking at that அப்ப குரல்ங்கிறது எப்படி அதை கொண்டு சேர்றது அந்த சின்ன 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 பிரகாஸ் அந்த ஒரு மெலிஸ்மா பேசேஜ் ஒர்க் எல்லாம் எப்படி அந்த இடத்துல கேட்கறது அப்படின்னு நம்ம போய் பாடி பார்த்தேன் nice so i actually performed in a few pala- a yes uh-huh. i i performed in a few palaces in venice as okay. well so palazzo di gramani uh-huh. in in venezia so it was really interesting mm-hmm. it just opened my thinking in mm-hmm. ways that i had not thought uh, possible mm-hmm. so that was my sort of journey into the phd research but i think that that space that i occupy at the mm-hmm. moment is very mm-hmm. interesting mm-hmm. um it it gives me the latitude to continue my research into say panam it gives me the space to perform a lot mm-hmm. um because you know m- music is is my field right like <laughs> so, at the end of it like you sit sing listen to yourself yeah that is the only thing that is left you can yes. do many uh, studies you can do all these things but at the end of it the sound that we generate that is what so is the well golden thing right so well said yeah. and other than a lot of i mean people find people frequently come and ask me you you do a lot of things how do you manage yeah but i think it's not it's not aneka it's ek is finally that one thing unnada right. unnada sangeetha right adu unnada right so playback singing um pandrele apdi so number apdi nariya pera how do you manage apdi mm-hmm. kepa mm-hmm. so i've sing i've sung a lot of like really lovely songs mm-hmm. for various composers Mm-hmm. celebrate uh, c- celebrated movies i i, I can tell yeah, you a bit about to, that i wanted to ask yeah. about one yeah. playback uh, that you did yes, and i wanted yes. you to sing a little bit of that yeah yeah um definitely i can sing uh, sadana no from sure 
mahanati song yeah the mahanati is the one i was listening to yesterday yeah. it sounded really good i thought thank you yeah, thank you very good adella raga evlo irukku theriyuma i mean there's a lot of that yeah, is a raga very based carnatic based song actually yeah and yeah. and there's a story behind it i'll share that mm-hmm. but just going back to the thing of you know a lot and single mm. the, the when when people say how are you doing carnatic you're doing playback you're also doing mm-hmm. research you're doing um western people or you're doing ensemble work you're composing how how are you doing those various things mm-hmm. they are various activities but the only thing as you say mm. is the music that mm-hmm. sits at the mm-hmm. center of it that mm-hmm. drives all that so ragalaya bhava adha da ana moona so it's so it's fascinating when you look at everything through that one lens yeah yeah then then things become simple yeah okay <laughs> so i'll sing a bit of this song sada nannu nadipe is it maha nati or maha nadi so adu maha nadi ingirathu it's a some other movie it's kamala hasan film movie. Yeah. iconic movie uh. um maha nati is also an iconic film that came out in 2018 right maha nati is a telugu word uh, uh. so maha nadigai so oh, it is a biopic Natiya. of Natiya. okay uh, so nata Something like that. um and Nana. it's a biopic of the great artist uh, the, the, the great actress uh, savitri amma i see so mahanati was a telugu one and nadigayar tilagam was what it was called mm. in tamil mm-hmm. so i sang the song tandai tandai in tamil yeah. and sada nanu same song in, in telugu. telugu and you know the, the the film won a lot of national awards yes congratulations thank you so much <laughs> and mickey mayer was the composer me uh, mimiki j mayer quite uh-huh. a celebrated telugu composer i see um was the composer of this piece uh-huh. and so the the story behind this piece is really interesting um so mickey mayer and i we had a few conversations and so mickey said i've got this you know sort of tune mm-hmm. structure but i feel like there are ragas in it charu mm-hmm. but you know you need to sort of figure it out yeah like uh, sit with me and sort of talk me through uh-huh. this let's have a conversation conversation obviously a musical right dialogue so then we had a bit of back and forth i recorded it in my home studio mm-hmm. in australia where i'm currently residing and sent it back and mickey was uh, based he's yeah he kind of is based in hyderabad but also in california mm. so we were sitting all over the shop you know and working through this mm-hmm. and finally the structure it's so beautiful it's got a few ragas in it dwijavanti kambhoji mm. and even you know sa- like the major scale shankara right, like beginning we have difficulty so. with one raga now like, can you put four ragas <laughs> it's like gets too complicated for it that it does think. but when you look at it right ange yenga maaradenga oru chinna oru it has a pattern when to change yeah okay. it's like doing a puzzle satish yeah, yes uh, so it sort of excites us on right. a very mental level it's uh, like it's too boring to do yeah, the same yeah. single thing let's do two things or four let's things let's do a few things right. and see where that takes us right. so it's a very right. it's an analytically challenging but exciting sort of makes sense <clears throat> yeah <clears throat> so sadananu nadipe neechali me pudhari niliche prati malu puikapai swagatamai na pere piliche ide korukunna ide korukunna anine ீ <laughs> அது மாதிரி வீணை வந்துட்டும் அதுக்கப்புறம் அந்த சரணம் 
நதிக்கு வரதல்லி மதிக்கு பரவல்லை சரிச சரிச நி பதச சரிச சரிச ச பதச தலப்பு துரிதல்லை தனூகரி வில்லை சொகசுமரதரி பத சரி ரிரி சரி ரி சனி த பத சரி மாக சனி பத ச இதெல்லாம் வந்து ராகமா பண்ணி காம்போஜி அங்க கொண்டு வந்த இல்லீஸ் <laughs> because i mean when you look at the kind of welcome that people give for mm-hmm. I, you know it it's sort of like surreal when you receive messages saying that this magic in your voice is right, something right 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 ninga paadina enak apdiye santoshama irukku and it reaches me, more people than the carnatic sphere which is yeah. kind of limited right it, so it is uh, but, but now still of course carnatic uh, sphere right. is exploding exploding right so um, i think it would be right to say that it's always nice to have an inclusivity so i would love to sing more of carnatic mm-hmm. more of isai payanam and more of more film of films. songs so that is it's always looks like, like you want to sing more and more yes you just want to keep singing so yenak ellame ekam na it's only one right Makes so yenak sangeetham avala da well said I, i think i was going to ask maybe it was a tricky question that you know if you say that i love mu- mu- music so, music songs the carnatic people say she likes more <laughs> <laughs> film me right and some of them don't even choose to sing in films yes right? like maybe they think Correct. that it's pure i don't want to do something yes but yes. i think it's okay to explore uh, kind of both if you like to yes i think that's true and also it's a question of opportunity being at the right place at the right time yes absolutely and also uh, being recognized for the work that mm-hmm. we do yeah so when you know when when it's mahanati and a film like that and uh, this a uh, but the when mickey contacted me he said i have a classical song charu and i think you are the only person who can actually can do, do it. it very nice so already the faith know, has been then there's a there's a faith right. of course there are so many artists who are wonderful yeah. singers yeah. who have sung yeah. in films as well i mean niti shriyaka yeah. and jay shriyaka and susuzaka so many of them right all of them have sung so many beautiful songs in films right. now no first kadaya and i won't be the last mm-hmm. so but who i am i'm enjoying that space yes. that's all it's an opportunity to do something new you take it yes. and do it yes yes and also when you're working in a film context it's new material as yeah. you say yeah and also we need to be alert and it's quite um exciting Audience for my for my yeah right. so i i have a my my brain is like always a bit of an analytical mm-hmm. thinker also so i really love that so mm-hmm. they give me a phrase and it's like sort of a puzzle ஆ இதில் எப்படி அந்த சங்கதியை கொண்டு வரலாம் இதில் காம்போஜ் எப்படி இன்னும் கொண்டு வரலாம் இன்னும் கொண்டு வரலாம் எப்படி இன்னும் ஆத்தென்டிக்காக அது அவளுக்கும் பிடிக்கும் ஸோ கம்போசர்ஸ் ஆர் லைக் டியூட் ஐ டோன் நோ ஹவ் யூ டெட் திஸ் ஓகே அண்ட் ஐம் அண்ட் ஐம் சேயிங் யா பட் ஐ டோன்ட் கெட் ஹவ் யூ வண்டர்ஃபுல்லி டிட் தட் ஆர்கெஸ்ட்ரேஷன் தேர் பிகாஸ் தட் சார்ட் ஆஃப் யூ ஸ்கெஃபோல்ஸ் த ப்ராசஸ் ஸோ இட்ஸ் அ கொஸ்டின் ஆஃப் ஜஸ்ட் த கொலாபரேஷன் ஐ லெட்ஸ் ஜஸ்ட் சே சதீஷ் ஐ லவ் கொலாபரேஷன் nice like i'm a sucker for collaboration right. that's nice so <laughs> yeah. and that that's what really excites me even in a carnatic kacheri yeah. i love to collaborate with the pakavadi and um, violin that without that it's not, it's not fun yeah. Yeah. so i really have to big right. shout out to my isai panama companies right. that have done like b anantha krishnan on the violin right. arjun ganesh on the mridangam and we have done so many performances together right. you know um and it's like வெங்கட சுப்பிரமணியம் ஆன் வயலின் கண்டதேவி விஜயராகவன் சார் எவ்வளோ ஐ மீன் மிருதங்கிஸ் அண்ட் வயலினிஸ் எவ்வளோ பேர் வாசிச்சிருக்கா ஐநோ ஸோ எல்லாருக்கும் என்னோட நமஸ்காரங்கள் பிகாஸ் அந்த கொலாபரேஷன் இல்லைன்னா நம்ம ஒன்றுமே கிடையாது 
மேடையேறினா இட்ஸ் அ குரூப் டீம் இட்ஸ் அ டீம் எஃபர்ட் இட்ஸ் அ டீம் எஃபர்ட் லைக் இட்ஸ் அ டீம் ஸ்போர்ட் ஐ வுட் சே கர்ணா இன் மியூசிக் இஸ் அ டீம் ஸ்போர்ட் லெட் மீ புட் இட் தட் நோ வேர் யூ ஆர் गोइंग टू ஹேவ் அ மியூசிக் வேர் ஜஸ்ட் ஒன் पर्सन சிங்ஸ் தே ஆர் மூவிஸ் बेस्ड ஆன் தட் இட் நெவர் ஹேப்பன்ஸ் ரைட் டசன்ட் மேக் சென்ஸ் லைக் ஈவன் இஃப் தட்ஸ் ஒன் சில இடங்கள்ல வரும் போ ஒன் ஆர் 2 இட்ஸ் நைஸ் டு ஹியர் ஒன் தாலாட்டு பாடல்ங்க போது மதர் சிங்கிங் டு அ चाइल्ड நாக யூ கே नॉट ஹேவ் அ சிம்பனி பிளேயிங் இன் தி பேண்ட் அந்த ஒரு ஏகாந்தமான ஒரு விஷயங்கள் அது வேற பட் அதுக்கு கூட ஐ ஃபீல் தி கம்யூனிட்டி ஆஃப் தி ஆடியன்ஸ் இஸ் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் யா மியூசிக் இஸ் நெவர் a solitary effort right. it's always a community Absolutely. now you rightly put it, mm. it there is variety like mm. so many instruments yeah. the, the matching of the frequency of your voice with the instrument creates right. a new thing other than and that is what we are all there to listen right when when you're saying that matching uh, yeah. really sort of uh, spark my thinking the way in which some instruments can sound with the voice are so different right, right. the same phrase sounds something else so in, different yeah, yeah. so the the kalyani work that i did with the ensemble in mm-hmm. hobart mm-hmm. recently premiered my composition in kalyani and there was an electric guitar there was you know there's a um, woodwind instruments mm-hmm. there are brass instruments mm-hmm. that sort of bring that those colors and textures out mm-hmm. and other when i hear the recording it's a, back it makes it very unique i'm thinking oh my god how did this happen evlo vithyasam a irukku adhe mari films layum and adhe mari kutu paata i've sung manja like chillax for vijay right. film yeah that you know, uh, yeah chillax chillax uh-huh. chillax 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 uh-huh. adhula sithu pai right. viragam paadi uh-huh. but when you look at it it's full synth lead right, right. and you know the voice leading there is so powerful uh-huh. but you've got those synth and you got the drums mm-hmm. and the syncopated rhythms and so much of electronica mm. that that really brings it all together makes sense and when vijay antony sir was recording that song it was amazing to see you know you're just singing it and there's a backing track yeah that's just a, the skin and bones of it but seeing it on the big screen mm-hmm. and and when the yeah, bass that has is another mixed, dimension yeah, to that, it right the visual dimension the music, is music yeah. the dance the dress yeah. the colors all of the story that's why we are going to the movies right otherwise that's why would it, i go to movies the movie is larger yeah. than life right but but also when the bass is mixed mixed yeah. in mm-hmm. and is all mixed down yeah i think there's a sound engineering as right. well so i right. uh, it's all a team effort right. and right. the yeah, way I mean, which we nothing can be an individual effort maybe if you're a scientist you can mm-hmm. create something on your own but everything but else is team but other teams that um, other teams are not paper and science right. is like 11 people right. writing right. a paper right. and somebody has and to corroborate and say yeah, yeah what you say is right or wrong or, that, or critique it. it or something yeah like. or or sit with the hypothesis and work through it right you right. know yeah. um and see what else is happening in the field so right. it's very yeah. i think like if we could keep talking for like for <laughs> hours and hours yeah. but i think i got a lot of in- insightful things about uh, yeah. your journey and like uh, the raga journey yes thank uh, you maybe i just ask you a couple more and we'll kind of wrap Absolutely, up absolutely we'll point. wrap up yeah right so th- what are the books like i i try to google i find some random articles to learn yeah and uh, some youtube videos where i can learn something yeah if you can suggest some books that we can buy and keep it which will help us to learn carnatic even more i mean I'm, i'm i want yes, to do that definitely i um when i was a student when i was a young student tk govind rao sir was really influential mm-hmm. um in our lives as students so even i've spent a lot of time singing manodharma sangeetam mm-hmm. with govind rao sir mm. um the way in which he would weave in alapana and mm-hmm. swarakalpana and teach the students nan undirken adile nanu paadirken avartiyum konjam kattundirken so tk govind rao sir's books are really phenomenal mm-hmm. so i would if i were to give a recommendation i would say just gana mandir publication avare potrukar ama it's yeoman service to carnatic music adha alavukku or alaga pannirkar so i would say i think all of the series you know um learn, learners of our music should definitely Get look all, at tk govind rao definitely consider every book and see which one suits you kandipa vaangala illa ellame vaangala because avar tyagaraja krithinna potrukar dikshita potrukar shama shastri potrukar yeah. i think i may have some of them maybe i'm asking like are there more than that more like, than that some maybe you should also write some books uh, yeah. that help students well that's such a great idea and <laughs> that's also as an academic is always right. one of the Find job way, right. job descriptions job to, yes, is right, to write right. i have written a book for cambridge university uh, press that has come from my phd thesis uh-huh. um it's called uh, reimagine to revitalize I so see. it looks at revitalizing 
opera mm. on one hand one d- d- direction mm. but but also rethinking the way in which carnatic as as a carnatic performer you can become a global performer right. so that's the book i've written but i think there's a book here that's for the, definitely for the beginners or for the intermediate yeah. we need something a, a, like a some raga sample, based like samples book. about yeah. how to build the manodharma yes samples about neravals samples such about such a great idea uh, because like yeah i want to go to teacher and learn but sometimes i don't have the time yes. mainly for professionals who are always busy yes so really and and also to supplement with the guru mukhama katkar the supplement pandrathu than supplement pandrathu so we uh-huh. all need gurus right. but then we cannot always and the kalathu they had the luxury gurukula right. vasamla right. right. they had the luxury of being with the guru right. at all times right we don't have that blessing right. Right. so right. This we is have important. internet instead we have internet <laughs> instead we have multiple gurus right, right. and sometimes there's conflict in that right, as well right, yeah patantaram right. can vary right. but or a supplementary and the material it's such a great idea yeah. satish so that is in my mind it's been there for a while um, but the other book recommendation that i can definitely give is sambhamurti sir's all the books um, mm-hmm. my my mother did um, in fact when i was growing up i used to my favorite past time or hobby was to open a cupboard and look at my mother's books i see so i still remember as a 6 year old 7 year old opening the south indian music in a uh-huh. book hard bound ah chinna da irukum so sambamurthi i used to sit and leave through all those oh. things so bhairavi pathi edirpar adu my i think my first love of ragas began in those moments of Right. of just like childhood right. bliss right. when bore adichen irukumbodhu i right. all we had was we didn't have internet right. then right. so in amma oda cupboard lenda i used to just take those books, books and start apdi okkanda for hours together i used to get immersed in those I stories see. the stories of dikshadar you know in in, in atayapuram the mm-hmm. story of anandamrita kashni coming adala i read it when i was like probably 7 or 8 mm-hmm. in from samamurtis nice so sir go order some books today for sure please <laughs> please do adala irukke if you go to chennai if people are traveling to chennai they can get it from it. there but yeah. everything is like it's available here also. it's a little bit pricier but uh, yeah. it's available and i would say definitely keep watching the isai payanam series oh definitely because as you've done Na, and a lot of people I was telling you right it, but <laughs> isai payanathla irukka paata alla yeah. kattindinga you'll get somewhere you will get somewhere because it has all the different yeah. ragas all the popular songs yes you can sing some stuff but most importantly it will foster a love for ragas right it will foster a love for carnatic ragas mm-hmm. in a way that is also democratizing mu- music so mm-hmm. traditionally kattukka mudiyada va illa vandu you don't have access to mm-hmm. to like uh, carnatic mu- music but you've heard film mu- music naka having this isai painam sort of thing to bring you from the sort of knowledge you already have mm-hmm. to things you want to learn yeah um it's the philosophy of education really right. to right. connect what you know to something that's new right. will build your knowledge so really uh, those videos continue watching subscribe right. Right. to uh, isai painam channel yes. subscribe to satish uh, bay area karnatic as well uh, her first. <laughs> um yeah definitely great service for people in yeah. the bay area for me for me it is like you know i yeah. learn i just put it there yeah because yeah. i i don't know if I'm right or wrong. Yeah. I thought like I've spent a lot of effort. Let me at least keep yes. it there. It but may be but good I or think bad. when I was seeing your channel I thought it's it's a good snapshot of a learner's experience. Right. That's what I would put it like that's what I would put yes, it. Yes, and yeah. a lot of people empathize with that journey. Yeah. It's it's seldom talked about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A you only think about yeah. the high level. Yeah. You don't talk about the you don't. journey. And yeah. and a professional's journey is always talked about. It's right. valued. It's it's right. sort of um even deified. Right. But a learner's journey is significant. Right. It is. So I yeah. think the yeah. way you capture it it's good. Please continue doing the good Thank work. So it's amazing. Thank you very much. Thank and, you. And and through this it's also great to connect to the Bay Area Carnatic population here. Right. Right. So it's been amazing. Yeah, Thank I think you. you should come more to Bay Area. Yes. Do some <laughs> concerts. Yeah. And uh, you know be yeah. participating in this uh, kandipa 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 we are all global artists right. so i mean you know my my home is always chennai but you know at the moment right. i'm you know centered in australia right. um, in very scenic hobart but i travel i keep traveling all over the world right. so right. last year i was in paris doing isai right. painam concerts and in london and you know it's like the world is is our oyster right so right let's make it out right and, and so. they say payanangal mudive dillai yes so this isai payanam will never end thank and you and it'll keep going thank you thank so you. i just wanted to say thank you and uh, you know conclude this interview romba santosham can you get me the flower
It was a honor to meet you, and I learned a lot today. Thank you, Sakesh. And, uh, thank you. Your voice is as brilliant as ever. Oh, thank you. Namaskar. <laughs> thank, thank you. Bhagwan Kuru Tadade. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Just, yeah. Yeah. Keep brilliant. Keep growing. Keep aiming higher thank and higher. Sir, thank you so much. Thank you. And lovely yellow flowers, and <laughs> it's a symbol of Guru. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. You're my Guru indirectly yeah. because oh, I yes. always. watch your uh, channel and stuff i know that's amazing when people tell me you are my guru and i'm thinking how technology has yeah. bring brought us you don't have to be guru as in like exactly right you don't have to be with me yeah. but i can be with you in the it, youtube it, and stuff to the learning and things so romba yeah. santosham thank you so much and yeah very exciting thank you namaste yeah. and just a parting message to all who are with us today i think it's amazing that you all um, that you're all watching this right but for right. the audience performers right. cannot communicate right as much as we'd like to so yeah. thank you so much for being a wonderful rasikas right. right and learners of music right namaste thank you very much <laughs>